Oh, if it isn't the Banner Boy. Banner Man. I am a man. <gasps> I am a Banner Man. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome to Banner Man. A story about the horrors of war. And I think that's quite fitting for a Halloween special. War is more scary than zombies. I won't hesitate to say it. And that's largely because war, war never changes. I woke up pre-dawn. Seemed the uh, circus was in town, the tents were around, but I had no time for such festivities. I had to march about camp, check in with the men. The men! and see how we were doing. My uh, faithful manservant, Percival, was the first person I encountered. Hello to you, Percival. You miss breakfast? It was double rations this morning. Here, help yourself to mine. Mm, thank you so much, good friend. Any news? Nothing yet. The scouts are due back shortly. I'm sure it'll be the same story as always. Stand about, look scary. While well, Randall and his men do the same. Hmm. And how are our men about the camp? Bored. Bored as long as supplies keep coming through. They're happy enough to sit and wait. Uh, I see. Well, carry on then. It seems, uh, nothing of interest will happen today. Will do. Oh, Lord Crowley was asking after you. He awaits the scout's return near the camp entrance. I shall seek him out. Thank you, Percival. Look at me walking. So jauntily with my sword. Hello to you, squire. You look like shit. Uh, 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 thank you, squire. Thank you so much. I think it is uh, not quite your place to comment on such things, hmm? What's the situation around here anyways? Same as always. We're ready to fight, never fighting. Wish Crowley would give the order. I ain't sign up to sit on my arse. Hmm, any news aside from that? About your arse? I made a little deal with one of the scouts. He's swinging by the nearest inn and collecting a few skins of wine for the lads. Come by this evening to help yourself. But keep everything quiet, pal, yeah? Uh, okay. That, that sounds like something you probably shouldn't tell a superior officer. But regardless, uh, I thank you for the information. I probably will be stopping by tonight. So I'll see you later. Yeah, later. Hmm. Quite jaunty this morning, aren't we, gentlemen? Hello, local smithy. How do you do? I'm in the middle of something here, mate. What a... Look, this shine ain't gonna fix itself. Longer I stand in blaring at you, the longer it's gonna take me to finish. So you either make yourself useful, pick up a hammer and give me a hand, or you can bloody well show off! Wow. That... That's quite a, a greeting. But all right, continue on with your work. I'll be the bigger man and simply walk away. Oh my, someone has launched the trebuchet. Was it you, my friend? Why would you do such a thing? Nice of you to join us. What's happening? Scouts have returned, and it looks like Randall and his boys are spoiling for a fight. I say it's about time we give them one. I shall prepare the men, Lord Crowley, yes. That responsibility can fall to the other veterans. Uh, then what would you have me do? You followed me on many campaigns, and are a valued member of my company. You will bear my standard. Its presence will inspire the men. Very well. This is an honorable position. Do not fail me. I'll do my best. This is my... my standard? My banner? That's right, I am the guide on bearer. Be inspired, men! Take heart, we march forward to battle! They shall fall before us! Lord Randall versus Lord Crowley! Who shall come out on top indeed? The cavalry charges. The archers unleash a flurry of arrows. The atmosphere takes hold. War and bloodshed. But for as terrifying as it is, it's kind of beautiful in its own simple way. And I march through the cavalry, through the return fire of those arrows, unfazed, protected by the glorious banner of Lord Crowley. 
Yes. These men all fighting. You can't tell who's who in this sort of uh, scuffle. But I guess that's how it is. Especially if you don't know what color your armor's supposed to be, which side you're going to be fighting for. We've picked up quite a few uh, mercenaries and brigands to fight in the army. Not as well trained as they could be, but they certainly serve the purpose as a meat shield, don't they? Ah. Uh, if only they could be as inspired as the trained troops behind this banner. Oh my. Hello to you, Robocop. Stop right there. There's no need for further bloodshed. Hand over the banner and lay down your arms. Do this now. Well, that is not happening, mister. Have at you! Basic attack! Huzzah! Oh, you don't seem to uh, have a weapon of your own out. Oh, oh, but you kicked me in the nuts. Okay. I shall change my stance and come at you again! Huzzah! Oh, oh, you kicked me in my other nut. I don't have any more nuts to be kicked. So I'll block your attack. Change the stance, block the lower attack. Aha! Uh -huh. And come back with a heavy attack! Yeah! Oh god. I got kicked in the solar plexus. The wind was knocked out of me. I am uh, no longer the banner man. Robocop was standing in front of it quite victoriously. But the banner is gone. I awoke on day one. Feels like I was born yesterday. <laughs> Hello, Lord Crowley. Still alive, I see. W what happened? You failed in your appointed duty. It seems my trust was misplaced. Randall's forces are returning north with my banner, following the Leopold River. What, what can we do? We will give pursuit. I refuse to submit to this dishonor. The bulk of my men fled towards Walmsleyton. You will head there and regather all of whom you can. On your way. I guess I will be on my way. Thank you for being so gracious and not uh, having me executed or or something like that. That could be quite bad. Oh, and we've arrived in Walmsleyton post haste. A little bit of running should do me good. Get the uh, the heart pumping. Get the muscles going. Anybody in this house? Hello? Anybody home down here? Hmm. That doesn't seem necessarily uh, like a home. From the outside it looked like a home, but uh, down here it looks like a dungeon. Perhaps somebody is being kept in this dungeon. We might free them and they might join our forces, yes. Wouldn't that be quite a lovely thing? Hmm. And there was a bit of uh, acoustic music going on when I was outside. It seems to have left me when we head down into the depths. But no matter. Let the atmosphere sink into your bones. Feel it in every fiber of your being. Yes. Deeper into the crypt we go. Ah! The owner's just here! An old lady, it seems. Oh. How about a punch? And another punch. Haha! -ha. Oh, she struck me with her sword. This is no time for mercy. Cut her down. She didn't have much life left to live. So what she had is now over. I shall take her helmet for myself. Yes, indeed. A bit more armor should be quite helpful. And it uh, should take a bit more of a beating than my flesh, you see. Each, each part of my flesh, of which I have five, are taken away with only one swing of the sword. The armor will last uh, a bit longer against these weapons. Hello to you. Should I have mercy? Try and punch you? Oh my. Ah, she's cracked my armor. My goodness. They're not to be trifled with, are they? Ah, my armor's gone! Dash through her. Dash through her thusly. I really do like the combat in this game, as an aside. Ah, and some chainmail as well. Yes, replace that armor that I seem to have lost. Ah, another old woman. Defending the house. 
commendable, but stupid. So brave, but so, so stupid. Hello to you, Smithy. Stow that weapon. We want no more trouble here. What happened here? Soldiers. They arrived after the battle. Seemed decent enough. To be honest, we were quite grateful for the protection. And then the other lot arrived. Our village quickly became a battlefield. They're still going at it on the outskirts. Mm, could you repair my armor? Can do. Bing, bing, bing. Job's done. Leave us in peace. So I shall. Good luck with your work. Aye. And she, he did fix my broken helmet. Oh, hello to you, little filly. What do you want from me? I was just looking at the goods, you know. What are you doing? I'm going about my own business. Why don't you try doing the same? Ooh, caddy. Hey, caddy. Uh, can I ask you if you've seen any soldiers pass through this town? Don't talk to me about those fools. If you have any sense, you'll get them to move on. Hmm. Well, I'll leave you be. Good. Wow. Went from caddy to bitchy quite quick there, didn't we? Well, I pay it no never mind. Again, be the bigger man. Just walk away. I thought it was drawing my attention to those barrels up there, but it seems a letter. A dear John letter? No, a dear Kaylin letter. My dearest Kaylin, I apologize that this letter will be brief. All able men are being called to the banner. I do not know when I will be able to write next. Please give my love to your family. Yours, Marden. Oh, I do hope young Marden and Kaelin shall be reunited soon. But one never knows in these days and times. Quite trying times that they are. For what purpose do we fight? Honor and glory, of course. Ah, here, a damaged page from a combat manual. When your enemy wears up upon his body a coat of steel, do not persist slashing weakly upon his armor. Seek to muster your full strength and bring your weapon down upon him. Heavy attacks will expose his weakness, and then you may bring about his ruin. Yes, heavy attacks indeed. We'll keep it in mind. Ah! My faithful manservant Percival, what are you doing in this town? Fancy seeing you here. How'd you wind up here, buddy? After you fell, the flanks buckled, then the main line. I lost my way in the route, but I found these boys. Been here since. It's only been a day. I see you've been enjoying yourself. But I gotta tell you that Crowley is definitely not happy at the moment. Crowley lives? I'll make my way to him. Not sure if these boys will follow suit. Better talk to the captain. I will do just that. Gotta keep moving and find that captain then. Best of luck to you, Percival. Alright, I'll meet up with you later. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan, my man. Ah, I'm the captain just here. Greetings to you. Outstanding. Now give me room to breathe, boys. W what's What's been going on here? Oh, if it isn't the banner boy. Banner man. I am a man. <gasps> I am a banner man. <laughs> Not anymore, y'all not. Well, Randall's left a few of his best and brightest around Walmsleyton. Don't you worry, my boys will clean him up. Well, I gotta tell you, Crowley sent me looking for his men. Well, that's fantastic, but I'm afraid we're right in the middle of something here. Little bastards keep popping up from nowhere. We're keeping the peace. Mmm, we're pursuing Randall and we need the men. Had enough sitting around, have we? Pursue, counterattack, hit him where it hurts. Bold. I like it. Alright, I'll get the boys over to Crowley. But if this hunt goes cold, we're out of there in a flash. These boys need action. Oh, please don't worry your uh, metal-clad little head, friend. This village will be here uh, for the foreseeable future for your burning and pillaging needs. Protecting the village, they say. I've seen nothing that needs protecting thus far. Then again, I did show up a little late. I like to sleep. I like to sleep late, you understand? A fellow with a spear. Think you can have at me, do you? Ha! Huh? Yes, and now your armor's gone with a simple heavy attack. And I swing again and again. Ugh. 
It's quite hard to get through that spear, isn't it? There you are. I brought some of this. Take this home to your mother. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, all shall fall before the banner man. If I have to slaughter half this village to get my banner back, I will. By God, I'll do it. It's a nice suit of armor down here. But I'm relatively, uh... Relatively full, as far as that's concerned. What's this? A treatise on combat techniques. Hmm. Combat skills. The plot thickens. A well-timed dodge will avoid all incoming damage. Well, I should have thought of that myself. Fortunately, this paper has uh, taught me everything I need to know about it. So now I can get close to this archer. Presumably. How, how do I do this? There we go. Punch! Ah, had a bit of mercy on him. As long as you lay down your arms, I won't, uh... I won't do you in. Quite as one would expect, you know. You must be chivalrous. Oh, this is a large fellow. Oh my. You want some of this, do you? How about some of this? Oh. Huh, huh. And dodge back and away. Excellent. Oh. The strikes are quite mighty. Hmm. Doesn't seem to have too much left in him. But my armor's been short off. Clean off! Well, I had enough, I suppose. Enough to get through that fellow. I just hope I don't encounter any more. On the way toward the banner. The glorious banner. All hail the banner! Lay down for a little sleep. Mm hmm One can't chase a banner incessantly, you see. You must rest your body and your brain. Greetings, Lord Crowley. Good number of my infantry have returned. Well done. Randall continues to follow the river north. And what are we going to do, sir? Randall's troops have one day's march on us. We do not have the forces needed to challenge his men in open battle. We will stay on his trail and follow until an opportunity presents itself. Mm, and what are your orders then? We approach Durant Forest, the perfect location for an ambush. Without knowledge of what lies in wait, I will, will not risk the bulk of my forces. You will scout the path ahead, alone. Well enough. Farewell to you. Yes, yes. I fear no man. Ah, Percival, my compatriot! Ah, fancy meeting you here again. I don't understand Crowley's thinking. Once we chase down his banner, then what? They're not just gonna hand it over. We need more men. Hmm. How are you doing personally, friend? I want to know about your feelings, your inner struggles. I'm just fine. <laughs> I'll get. Hey, at least it's bit sitting around camp, yeah? Kinda. Are you familiar with Durant Forest? Trade caravans used to frequent the path, carrying grain from Wormsleyton to the north. The river narrows here. It's quicker to move on foot than by barge, not a trader's favorite route. Hmm. On foot it is then. I'd better get moving. Careful in there. I shall try. And the captain. I hear you to be scouting ahead for us. Good man. Keep a keen eye. As I do. As I always do. Except when I have the banner. But the banner was like flapping in my face, you see. Stuff like this happens. Duran Forest and more uh, hidden catacombs just under. I'm sure there's not going to be anything good in here. Skeletons? Bats? Wizards and archers? Hmm. And it seems another great, another shortcut to be unlocked. Well, that's relatively good. If I perish in the woods, perhaps my men will find me and drag me back to the beginning, you see. And then I can quickly cut to the end once more. Yes, indeed. Hmm, a notice fixed to this tree. All able-bodied men of age are hereby required to report without delay to the Master-at-Arms for immediate military service. 
Evasion of military service is a capital offence, Lord Crowley. Hmm. Well, we can only do what we can do. I came of my own free will, of course. Stop! Identify yourself. I act with the authority of Lord Crowley, civilian. Stand aside. Your false lord has no authority here. We are free men. And women. <laughs> ah, another old lady to cut down. Such a shame when that happens, huh? Ah, but brave they are. Very brave, very stupid. Ah, well. We must do what we must do to get the banner back, you see. Ah, uh, you've missed. Ha <laughs> ha. But he throws down his weapon. Quick punch to the jaw. He'll wake up. Perhaps we should uh, take him back. Make him one of our own. If you hold somebody in captivity long enough, they'll become loyal to you. Is this place gonna cave in? Is that what I am to understand? Thrust! Oh yes. She didn't see it coming at all. But she probably did enjoy that thrust, huh? <laughs> ah, another damage page from a combat manual. Expend your energy wisely. Attack only when your enemy is weak to attack. Parry blows only when danger is present. Carelessness will lead to fatigue and you will be most vulnerable. I shall keep that in mind. I did run out of uh, stamina shortly against in that fight with the big fellow. Oh, another armored soldier. We must get the, uh, the low blow ready. Peel his armor off. Oh, he struck me. Quite a vicious blow it was. Hmm. What's this? Step in, step out. There we are. A bit of parrying, but nothing we can't handle. There we are. Lay down. Lay down and stay down. Ah. A bit more armor. Don't mind if I do. Is this what you were guarding down here? This is what you wasted your life for? Oh, sad. That's all I can really, really say about it. I feel bad that you chose to, uh, to face me down over such decrepit armor. <sighs> but oh well, choices must be made. <clears throat> Here we are. This should make the path back this way a bit shorter, shouldn't it? Yes, indeed. Now I must find my way back to the surface. Perhaps uh, there's another smithy waiting around who can repair my armor. Hmm, I'm only missing the helmet now. But it will be missed. Every little bit counts around here. Ah, an archer as well. Must take them both down. There's one. Ah. Out of stamina. Ah, he flees! He flees! I ah, let him go, I guess. Damage page from a combat manual. Employ bows against unarmored targets with great effect. Summon your full strength, draw, and hold steady. Release your grip to unleash your attack. Hmm. Did that archer drop his bow, perhaps? Not anywhere that I can see. I would rather like a bow. That might be helpful to me, in some way. Not against these armored targets, of course. Ah, they go for the legs. Always going for the legs. How about this? Dodge. Become a shadow. Whoosh. Whoosh. Float through the battle. Oh. Oh. This spearman. Quite a, a worthy adversary he is. Hmm. Ah. Must wait for my stamina to recharge a little. There we are. Ah, 
but he did almost end me. I should like to sit down for a meal of some sorts. Ah, here is the archer's bow. Wonderful. This will be useful. How about this? Hmm. Apologies for that. It does happen from time to time. Don't approach someone that has their bow drawn if you only have a sword. You're not going to make the uh, three feet in front of you. Ah, a local smithy. Thank goodness I found you. You picked an odd place to take a stroll. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I live here. What are you doing wandering through my front yard? Uh, never mind. I'm sure you've got your reasons. Indeed I have. Could you repair my armor for no cost at all? By the uh, authority of Lord... Lord Crowley? <laughs> well, let's have a look. Ding, ding, ding! Better than new. Take good care of it. I thank you so much. I hope to see you around, my friend. I'm sure you will. Hmm. This blacksmith looks the same as the, the smithy from our camp. Quite interesting, that is. Ah, and listen to that music. Let us also take note of these faces that are uh, surrounding me. It's okay. They don't seem to mean any harm. Everything is just fine. Ah, and a small banner waving in the wind. Perhaps if I took this one back to Lord Crowley, he might end this this hunt. <laughs> Ah, more faces. Yes, let us turn them, just so. That's what you do with faces that you find in the woods, isn't it? I don't really know. This is only the second set of faces I found in the woods. But if I make the second set match the first set, then the gate opens. Quite convenient. Lovely day. Hmm... Unfortunately, uh, my life will not recover until I lay down for a rest. I must be extremely careful. Ah, and what is this? Another treatise on combat techniques. Interesting. Endurance. Uh, that seems like quite a good thing. But ironclad increasing maximum armor. Hmm. I will take this. Yes. Choices must be made from time to time, but I feel we've made the right one. Stamina recovers quickly enough. Simply stop, take your breath. Armor does not recover, however. Percival? Ah, you beat me to the front again, my friend. Thought we'd give you a hand. Well, Crowley said he was holding back and that I'd be out here alone. The boys were none too happy when they heard you were the only one to get any action. Thought we'd sneak out and come find you. <laughs> it is appreciated, but I'm sure I don't need the help. Have you had it, heard any news aside from uh, what Lord Crowley has, has said? Lord Randall declared himself victorious and is returning to, with his forces to Blakesley. It seems Crowley doesn't agree. Hmm, indeed not. Neither do you, or I, for that matter. We shall continue on. I'll catch up with you later. Step lightly moving forward. I'll catch up with you later. Well, I'm sure you will. We'll catch up with each other later, how about... Ah. Another bit of chain mail. Yes. This should come in quite nice. Uh-oh. The door locked behind me. That is quite ominous. Hmm. And this archer seems a bit different than the rest. Ah. Ha! Must peel his armor off. Before he peels mine off. Oh. Makes it rain. Arrows from the sky. Ah, we must press forward. Uh, there you are. No more armor for you to hide behind. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. Soon enough it'll all be over. I dance through your arrows. 
No problem at all. Ah, it did get me there, and also there, but it's over! Hmm, not much more to him, is there? Hmm, I just must stay, stay in the cover of the shadows. Ha! Pop up right in front of me. Some kind of archer you are. And hardly any health left. Down you go. Ah. <sighs> Much easier to deal with those archers than the spearmen. At least in my experience. Ah. We will get Lord Crowley's banner back. Or my name isn't Deaton Does. And it is. Because I do. Get the banner back, I mean. However, for now, I must take a rest. I thank you for joining me on the hunt this far, friends. I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the video. That would be much appreciated. It's a little bit something different. Um, not complete immersion, obviously. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to see how it went, and I think it went pretty well. So, I hope that you've enjoyed, friends. I hope that you're having an awesome, awesome Halloween. Um, and join me for the Halloween stream, because that is going to be a lot of fun as well. We're going to play some spooklier games than this one. But, uh, yeah, like I said, the fact that this has uh, war and bloodshed and a great creepy atmosphere made me want to play it for Halloween. So, big thanks to the devs for providing me a free key. We will resume this at some other point. I don't want to say it's going to be uh, recurring week after week because I'm just I'm just taking it a little bite at a time at the moment, which is uh, how I like to do most things. Anyways, please join us for the next time. This has been Bannerman. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I hope to see you then, friends. Until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.